Good day parents, it's now Tuesday the 9th of June and at this point we've had both of our grade 7 groups that have attended school. Out of the 148 grade 7s, 128 have attended school, which means that only 20 have not attended. Things have gone very well, the grade 7s both groups arrived, uh, they indicated that although they were excited to be back and to see their friends and their teachers, there was also a degree of nervousness, which is quite understandable. On both mornings, we started the day with an orientation session. We dealt with things like health and safety issues and protocols, um, emotional well-being, and also protocols specific to grade sevens and how they were going to not move around as much as possible, and also what would happen at break times and after school. What we need to do now is, and we're going to be dealing with the grade sevens first, and thereafter we'll be looking at the other grades, is through a departmental introduced process. We have to speak to the parents of the children who have not arrived at school to ascertain what it is that you would like to do with your child. Have you chosen, for example, for your child to be homeschooled for medical reasons, or are you considering a homeschooling route? As I've stated in an earlier video, we really, really would not like to lose any of our families. So if anyone is thinking about the homeschooling route, won't you please chat to someone like your class teacher, your grade head, or even the head of your phase or myself. Once we've ascertained your choice as a parent, then we need to meet uh, to go through this process and to complete a form. That form will be sent to you before the meeting so you can see what it is that we need to discuss and decide upon before the form is signed by myself or a deputy, yourself and one of our governing body parents. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. about how we are protecting your children from the health hazards that are present at the moment and just to let you know that we're also very aware of the emotional needs of our kids and I am here at school checking in with the grade sevens at this point and trying to support their emotional wellness through programs in the classroom and going around to them at break time so your kids are in good hands.